Go ahead. Action. So we're showing two things here. Right? One is we're showing the development uh, kit for OCAP, which is our app, you know, which is our environment, our platform to allow customers to develop OCAP applications. And that includes um, a simulator that sim runs on a PC that simulates a set-top box. It includes uh, a development environment which allows you to enter, debug, run applications. And it also includes an interface and some software that goes in our set-top box so you can run the exact same applications um, on a set-top box as you're running on uh, the simulator. So, a couple of key things. One is you can switch back and forth between you know, running an application on the simulator in a PC and running in a set-top box very easily, so you don't have to go through a whole you know, sequence of events to get an application running in the box. Uh, second major thing is, both in the, simula the simulator is running the exact same Java virtual machine that the set-top box runs. So you cannot run a Java, you can, you can't write a Java problem, program in Java 2 or Java Beans on your simulator and wonder why it doesn't run in the set-top box. The environment's exactly the same. Right? And the third thing, which has really gotten a lot of attention, uh, the simulator includes a uh, simulated head end. So we're generating all of the MPEG transport stream data, channel maps, you know, everything else, so you can run both the set-top box and the simulator. Right? Um, just as if it was hooked to a cable plant to a head end, but we don't need to require a head end, we don't quite require a separate piece of hardware to generate the MPEG data. Uh, that's why I can tune channels, for example. Right? So we're really proud of this product and think, think it's, it's really pretty slow.